on. Welcome back. Hope you had a nice journey. Today's weather forecast is sunny. Was this all a simulation? Was this even real? Uh, did what I just witnessed just be a game in a child's mind, essentially? Or a young mind, perhaps? There is such uh, insane, enveloping chemistry between these two actors. I think they fall into their characters extremely uh, well. I think they stand alone as they are, and they are uh, unique and alluring uh, individually, but they're also really cohesive and play really well together. Um, I really loved this story. Uh, I liked the tiny things. I noticed the color grading. It instilled fear in me. I remember at one point of this film, I felt really fragile and really aware of life and death and that moment of uh, having this recognizing notion that we will not be on this planet anymore one day. Um, and that's a very fearful thought, um, is this notion of facing death. The opening sets the tone that there is like a virus present um, and this is a time of crisis. Um, you also have this ever-present feeling of time running out. You had the lower thirds of the Sharon calling out the number of days, uh, this whole idea through the sound design of the ticking clock. Uh, you have the montage sequences, which add to the tensions and feelings of this time running out. And... All of that was very present throughout, and it made the viewer feel tense, this feeling of suspensefulness, this feeling of will they, won't they, before the time runs out, which was, was great. Um, the ending scene is a great button, and it really does finalize that time ran out um, in terms of this uh, thing that he was trying to accomplish, this cure that he was trying to, to create or implement. Um, and I love how the ending is not expected. It's also a very controversial ending. You know, the the the, the choice of how his last moments are spent. So all of this is definitely, you know, makes it memorable. I loved the music in this. I thought that it was such a great choice by the filmmakers. Really, really well done. Um, the sound effects were so cool, but I kept looking around. I thought maybe BB-8 was going to come rolling out from a corner somewhere. I thought it was really neat. The, the premise of this story and the way that the filmmakers set it up, it was fascinating. And I liked what they did with the twist at the end with the whole fine print. I thought that that was very, very clever. And I, the actors were really good, too. I thought that they did a great job. All the aspects that went into the world building, I think that's where it really shined. I think the cinematography really felt like a different time and place. Uh, the sound design felt, y'all made choices in the sound design that made it feel like a different time and place. Like the writing really, like the exposition was such that it wasn't like, just tell me, but it was like, show me, but it was like, show me in like a clever way. And also like, in a way that's like, shows the scale without being Hollywood budget, you know what I mean? So I thought it was very effective. It is an interesting dive into humans' mortality and our need to know. Um, I love the hopeful nature and celebratory attitude right before the tragic ending and that small print. It was a brilliant touch and it's it's paired with great performances and special effects. I had a great time watching this. And yeah, it was a bit tragic, romantic film. Many like sci-fi writers or like stories like would love to get into like if we have like such a limited time to live on the earth, what would it be done like by us? So they tackle like such a good subject like in this short film. And it's pretty well done too. There's a sex scene that looks like it's well like put together by an intimacy coordinator it's like well choreographed it didn't feel like too erotic 
but it's kind of like go along well with the story. The performance are good, and the storyline is like straightforward. So everything is like well done, like as a short film.